Hey, hey, hey. Time for another Out of This World story from our space. Married 33 years ago, D-Day three days ago. Married for 33 years, me, male 55, wife 55, two kids, two grandkids, and we love them dearly. Background. We met at a nightclub back in the 80s where I was working as a bouncer. Went out for a date and two months later moved in together. Two years later, married. We had a good life. Work, play, having children. I went from a very active job to a sedate job and put on a lot of weight. To the extent that I couldn't even finish sex as I would get an asthma attack, we tried different things to spice up our sex life and were always monogamous. I had been cheated on in the past, so infidelity was a red line that my wife and I never crossed. We loved each other and thought we would die together. 33 years married is a long time, but I loved her more after every year that passed. After 20 years of a dead bedroom, I made a decision to lose the weight. So after two years, I lost 80 kilograms, about 176 pounds, and had a tummy tuck. I know it sounds vain, but there were three main reasons. One was so I could see my grandkids grow up. Two, my health, obviously. And three, to rekindle our sex life. And it did. For the last two years, we had sex about three or four times a week, and my wife enjoyed every second of it. I knew this because her body doesn't lie. So we were in a position where we can enjoy our lives with each other She still says she is in love with me, and I with her. I have never cheated on her, and I know she had never cheated on me. It's just one of those things. Well, that was until three days ago. She went on a holiday with her two sisters, headed off interstate with them. I had no problem with this, as I trusted her, but she knew that cheating was a deal breaker with us, and even after 33 years, it still is. We had a relationship where nothing was hidden. We had apps on our phones where we could see each other's whereabouts. This had nothing to do with a lack of trust, just simple safety. No phones were hidden, and we both had access to our messages and emails. Trust was never an issue. When I lost my weight and started to look better, I did gain more attention from women, but I always brushed it off as I was happily married. My wife would comment that she felt a little insecure now that I was being found attractive by others and she had put some weight on. This never worried me as I love her no matter what she looks like. I tell her daily I love her and how beautiful she is. Our sex is amazing and I'm regretful that we didn't try hard enough early on. Anyway. I had just finished work and was heading home when I got a phone call from my wife. She was very upset and asked me if my sister-in-law had spoken to me. I said, no, why? I asked what was wrong, never thinking that I would hear what she was about to say. She told me she cheated and had sex with another man. She is so sorry, she didn't know what came over her. I was shocked and my heart just broke. I sat in my car numb while she continued. She said her sisters and her were having a few drinks and a married couple joined them. They drank until 2 a.m. and her sisters had already left to go back to their room. The bar closed and she told me that she was very drunk and went with a couple to their room to keep drinking and talking. They both were very complimentary and kept telling my wife how sexy she was and her husband was a lucky man. The man then started to touch her and the wife encouraged them both. They told her no one would know and to just enjoy it. She said she felt that it wasn't even her, but she had sex with the husband while the wife watched. In the morning, when she woke up, she was in bed with both of them asleep and ran back to her room. Her sister caught her and she told her everything. Her sister told her she had to tell me or she would. She told me all this while sobbing over the phone and begging for my forgiveness. I was just so numb. How could she just throw away our lives? She was crying and kept saying she is so sorry and she hates herself, how much she loves me and made a terrible mistake. I told her she didn't make a mistake, she made a decision. I then hung up on her and turned off my phone I went home and just sat in a chair trying to work out what is going to happen now. I cried over the loss of my wife and I knew her and the years we had together. I cried over the loss of our future together and the effect her decision will have on her family. My life as I knew it was over. I shut myself off for the last two days and then turned my phone back on. Needless to say, there were hundreds of messages from her and her sisters. The last one was, she is on her way home. My kids have also tried to contact me as their mother was ringing them to see if I was alright and if they had heard from me. I rang my kids and told them what happened and that I am as okay as can be expected, but I will be leaving home to go sort myself out before she gets home. I asked them not to tell her where I am going, but I need to come to grips with the end of my marriage. I have just sent a text to my soon-to-be ex-wife, telling her we are getting a divorce and I don't want to hear from her. I don't care about the details and I now don't care about her. The pain is incredible. I would never have thought that our love could have been destroyed so quickly. We have one reaction from Pat J. Cop. 
I sincerely doubt that this was the first time she stepped out. You don't go from 33 years of faithfulness to a threesome after one night of too many shots in a bar. You only got the tearful confession because she thought the sister-in-law had ratted her out already. Don't listen to other posters shilling for reconciliation. I guarantee you those 20 years of a dead bedroom was one-sided. Update. I may ramble a bit, but I have a lot going through my mind and it keeps jumping from one thing to another. Couple of clarifications. Our dead bedroom wasn't completely dead, but compared to the last two years, it seems so. The active job I had was in the military, and I got injured on a training exercise, which led to a desk job, then medical discharge. And then my wife and I bought a small business together. Now, before I speak to my wife, I have spoken at length to my sister-in-law and her husband. The story my wife gave me was certainly different to the one she gave me when she first confessed. My kids were horrified about what happened and just want to support me. I have explained to them that though they may be angry with their mother, she is still their mother and the grandmother of their kids. She loves them, and what she did to our marriage does not change that. My wife and her sisters did cut the holiday short and came home. I left a note for my wife telling her to pack and go stay at her mother's. She did this. The details of what went down are much worse than what my wife told me. Though she confessed under the threat of being exposed, she didn't tell the truth. No surprise there. My wife broke down to her sister and apparently told her everything. I won't know what to believe until I sit down with my wife. The story she told her sister went like this. She loves me and loves our marriage. She never expected to do this. She blames our active sex life we have had over the last two years to explore what else she had been missing. She felt this way because she was always the attractive one in the relationship, but now she believes the roles are reversed. She was insecure and needed to be wanted by someone else. She swears it was the first time, but she did plan it. It was a fantasy she acted on. She was scratching an itch and was never going to tell me. Unbeknown to her sisters, the couple she met were interstate customers of ours. I haven't met them, but my wife spoke with them all the time over the phone. My wife went for drinks to meet up with them, but her sisters tagged along, so they pretended to be strangers until they left. She did drink, but was not falling down drunk. All three had this planned before they went away. My wife is coming around this afternoon to talk. Apparently, she is beside herself to what will happen. I already know what I will do. She chose to cheat, but everyone will feel the repercussions of it. I'll write the truth about her cheating, though makes it more devastating to me makes my resolve stronger. I didn't cheat. I didn't force her to lie. Her feelings that she had lost me and her marriage are spot on, and I don't give a crap how miserable she is. She did this. No one else. But we will now all have to deal with it. We are over, and we'll have to navigate our changed lives. Our first response comes from Scary Inspector 8315. She indeed made a choice. Let her live with that choice for the rest of her life. Able Dress 1678 wants to add, It sounds to me like your wife always looked down on you a bit, OP. This is clear with her feeling she was the attractive one. Once she felt that self-imposed superiority slipping away in her own mind, she had to get one over on you. She would have kept this secret and used it to reinforce her feeling of superiority. It boils down to the fact that your wife doesn't respect you. She probably has a history of trying to one-up you, even behind your back, all to build her need to feel superior. Last update. Firstly, Thank you to those 99% that showed support. It really is helping. For those others that blamed me, well, I have no doubt that you have your own issues to deal with, and good luck with that. This is a long post, as once I started to type, I couldn't stop. It felt good to get it down on print, so to speak, and was a little cathartic. This will be my last update for a while, and for those interested in what happens, I will post in a few months' time to let you know how things are going. I had the talk with my wife yesterday. After so many years together, we both find that we don't sleep very well without the other beside us. It's been like that for decades. Well, last night was the first night that I had a very good night's sleep without her there. She came around home and walked through the door. She looked terrible. Lack of sleep, guilty, scared, red-eyed. Normally, my heart would break, and I would make her feel better. But not this time. I was sitting at the table, and she started to cry again, and rushed in for a hug blubbering she effed up and is so sorry, etc. I put my hand up and told her not to touch me and sit down. She sat down. I asked her if she wanted a coffee, as I was going to make one, and she accepted. So I made the coffee, and went back to the table. Her eyes never left me. She started to speak, but I told her to be quiet, and answer my questions and listen. This isn't about her, but me and the marriage. I told her at this point we were done. She had made her choice, and this is about making mine. I had already made my choice, but I wanted to get some semblance of truth out of her, and I thought if she had a chance, she would be at least a little honest. I told her I had spoken with her sister, which was true, and I had spoken with the couple, which wasn't true. 
but she didn't know that. I had the strangest feelings inside of me, happy that she was so upset, but sad for us at the same time, along with disappointment, anger, and all the normal emotions you would have. But I was calm, and this freaked her out the most. Honestly, I felt I was doing a job interview. I asked her how many times. She said physically once and twice on video chat. I told her to explain how it happened. She told me that when they were talking business, it turned into flirting. Then, when the wife said it was okay and got involved over a couple of months, it moved on to watching them have sex. She told them it has always been a fantasy of hers to have sex while the wife watched, and they were all for it. She was crying when she told me this and said it went too far. She knew it was dangerous, which made it more exciting for her. She started to tell me that she felt insecure, but before she could continue, I told her I don't want to hear her BS excuses and justifications. I had to wait about five minutes until she could pull herself together. I even got up and got her tissues. She said they met up as arranged, and after her sisters had left the bar, they went straight to the couple's room. I asked her if she ever intended to tell me, and she said no. It was just a fantasy that she thought she could fulfill and never think about cheating again. I called BS and asked if she had cheated over the last 33 years. She said never. I told her that now it didn't matter how many times she cheated, either once or a thousand times, the result would still be the same. The only one it will hurt if she is lying is our kids and her relationship with them and our grandkids. I told her I don't believe her, but at this point, it's irrelevant. At this, she started to realize I had no intention of working through her infidelity. She begged me to work on her marriage. She would do anything. I could do anything. She would let me have affairs if I stayed. She promised she would never cheat again. I told her to listen to what she was saying. She has degraded herself enough. I would never cheat in a marriage if I did sleep with another woman. It would mean we were separated, with no chance of reconciliation. This is the last thing on my mind. She reached over to try and grab my hand, but I told her that I will never touch her again. It's not that I am judgmental of anyone's lifestyle. It's their own business, and I understand people do have affairs, open marriages, etc. But the point is, we didn't. The trust and respect were destroyed when she planned to have another man's dick inside of her. I have always been a pragmatic man, and I just felt relief. I told her we will make this as easy on us as we can. She took this as hope for our relationship, but I told her no, we are done. I would never touch you again, and I meant it. I could never forget that she screwed another man and the woman I loved and married is now dead to me. She died when you not only screwed another man, but planned for it. All the good memories we have will remain. The holidays, building our first home together, having and bringing up our children, all the laughs and life we face together are just that memories. We are now going to have separate lives, and I for one am looking forward to see what happens, and they will not include you. When I do meet another woman, I hope to start new memories with her, and hope that I do find love again. She was shaking and crying when I told her this, but it didn't faze me. I just wanted this woman out of my house. She couldn't continue with the talk, so I went down to shed and reached out to my kids by phone while she composed herself. I told them what was happening, and they were very supportive and said to not drag it on and just finish it. I went back up and as soon as I walked through the door, she started again with the sorry and we can make this work. I sat down and said, we are going to sell the house and business and split everything 50-50. You can have the car and I will take the truck and my motorcycle. She can take the cats. I then told her not to ring me, text me or contact me in any way unless it's about the kids or grandkids. I will contact lawyers and start the ball rolling for the divorce and she is free to go screw anyone she wants as she is now a free woman. She told me that she didn't want to screw anyone else, and I was being deliberately mean and unemotionally. I told her that I was being honest and her actions had put me in an emotional void. I told her that she is the only one to blame for the destruction of a marriage and no one else. I loved her unconditionally and she is the one who screwed it up. I then left the house so she could sort herself out and take a few more things with her and went over to my daughter's. I stayed there for a few hours talking with her and played with my granddaughter. When I got home, she had left, and as I said, I had the best night's sleep without her I have ever had. Now to see what happens over the next six months or so. We have one comment from Fragrant Spray. She was upset that you weren't emotional because her plan was to use emotions to manipulate you. This wasn't a mistake or accident as a result of your behavior. It was an intentional decision to put your marriage at risk to get what she wants. Also, I'm very skeptical that the one and only time she physically stepped out, she got caught. By her own admission, she was never going to tell you, so she had every intention of keeping the option open to do something like this again. You were absolutely doing the right thing. 
She can talk to your lawyer, and you shouldn't even need too much contact for adult children. Record all interactions with her if you can. Eventually, she's going to move on to making stuff up about you and try to paint you as the bad guy in all this. 